Assalamu alaikum in today's video we are looking at another game of Mikhail Tal which he played against Ludic Pac-Man in this game Mikhail Tal was playing as a white so he started the game with the knight to f3 ready opening d5 c4 attacks the center e6 defends it and g3 prepares the bishop to g2 knight to f6 bishop to g2 bishop to e7 and now both player castle on the king side Mikhail Tal played b3 preparing the bishop to b2 and black played c5 taking control of the d4 square Mikhail Tal played bishop to b2 now knight to c6 c captures on d5 and after e captures on d5 black has these two powerful center pawns and how can Mikhail Tal ignore these pawns in the center that's why he straight away attack it with the d4 move but black didn't capture the pawn instead he play knight to e4 but let's go back and see what happen if you play c captures on d4 after c captures on d4 Mikhail Tal can play knight captures on d4 knight captures on d4 and after queen captures on d4 it's very hard for the black to save this pawn on the d5 square that's why in this position why black didn't play c captures on d4 instead he play knight to e4 but now knight b to d2 bishop to f6 and now we cannot play uh, d captures on c5 because our bishop is hanging on the b2 square Mikhail Tal played knight captures on e4 d captures on e4 and after knight to d2 it looks like this is the sacrifice of the pawn but that's not the case because if you capture the pawn then Mikhail Tal can also play knight captures on e4 and that's what happened in the game black played bishop captures on d4 bishop captures on d4 and after c captures on d4 knight captures on e4 black played rook to e8 placing the rook on the semi open file queen to d2 and after bishop to f5 black is attacking this knight with the bishop and the rook that's why Mikhail Tal saves it with the knight to c5 and he is also attacking this b7 pawn black saves it with the queen to e7 and now he is attacking the knight on the c5 square and he is also attacking the pawn on the e2 square Mikhail Tal played rook a to c1 saving his knight black played rook a to c8 but let's see what happens if in this position black play uh, queen captures on e2 but now Mikhail Tal can play queen captures on e2 and after rook captures on e2 knight captures on b7 is just winning for Mikhail Tal because now this knight is hanging and after this knight move this bishop is indirectly attacking the rook on the a8 square that's the reason why in this position black played rook a to c8 Mikhail Dahl played queen to f4 attacking the bishop so bishop goes to g6 and now rook f to d1 in this position black was thinking that if he play queen captures on e2 but now Mikhail Tal can play knight captures on b7 and black cannot play queen captures on a2 uh, because of knight to d6 that's why in this position black thought that if he play b6 now after knight moves he can play queen captures on e2 and that's what happened in the game in this position Mikhail Tal played knight to a6 the best move for the black in this position is to play knight to b4 now rook captures on c8, rook captures on c8 and after knight captures on b4, queen captures on b4 and this position is equal for the both players. But black missed this move and in this position he played queen captures on e2 and that is a mistake why we will see that in some next move now Mikhail Tal played knight to c7 again computer is suggesting that black should play a uh, rook captures on c7 and after queen captures on c7 black can continue this game but black in this position played a uh, rook to e7 and now stop the video and try to find the winning move for Mikhail Tal in this position if you are thinking about rook to e1 that is a mistake because now black can play queen captures on e1 check and after rook captures on e1 rook captures on e1 check bishop to f1 and after bishop to d3 black is just winning this position that's the reason why rook to e1 does not work in this position the best move for Mikhail Tal in this position is bishop to f3 and Mikhail Tal played it why this is a best move because now black is forced to give up on his queen and if you are thinking about queen to e5 this move does not work because now Mikhail Tal can play a rook captures on c6 now queen captures on f4 but we will not capture it straight away first we will play knight to d5 and now if you are thinking about you can save your queen with the let's say queen to g5 uh, but now Mikhail Tal can play rook captures on c8 check and after rook to e8 rook captures on e8 is a back rank checkmate that's why in this position black is forced to play rook captures on c6 now knight captures on e7 check and after king to f8 g captures on f4 is just winning for Mikhail Tal because if you play king captures on e7 then 
then Bishop captures on c6 is again winning for Mikhail Tal. That's why in this position, Queen to a5 does not work. Black played Queen captures on d1 check and after Rook captures on d1, Rook captures on c7 and it looks like that Black can save this game because he has the Rook and the Knight in exchange for the Queen. But Mikhail Tal sealed this game with the stunning move Rook to c1 and now Black cannot win this game because this Rook is spinning this Knight and it's not easy to unpin it. Black played uh, h5 but after King to g2, Black resigned in this position. The reason is simple if in this position Black played d d3 but now queen to d6 attacking the knight with the three pieces so now black can play d2 but now queen captures on d2 and still you cannot unpin this knight let's say if you play knight to e5 but now rook captures on c7 and after rook captures on c7 queen to d8 check is just winning for mikhail tal and that's the reason why black resigned in this game so i hope you like this brilliant game of mikhail tal and if you like it please like this video subscribe to this channel to get more amazing and inspiring content